Hey, hey. All right. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back. Chef Tony Owen here coming to you live from Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Got another beautiful sunny day here. And uh, today, what I want to cook for you today is another dish from my hometown of Northfield, Minnesota. Yeah, baby, Northfield. And today we're going to cook a little dish from the Ole store. From the time I was cooking at the Ole store for Bob and Sue Stangler when they owned it. And um, when they owned it, they hired me on to try to help them launch dinners. And that's exactly what I helped them to do. And I helped the Ole store get established as a place to go for a good dinner on, on a good, on any Friday or Saturday night. So we were open pretty much every night and did, also did a great job. We started, by, started out by rotating through on a menu that we would produce four items for a week and then after a few months we took, um, took the best of those items, compiled them into our very first menu. And boy, I don't know, my phone is doing something funny again here, folks. Hold on. Jeez. Okay. All right. <laughs> and anyway, so we took the best of what we were selling on the four specials we were doing for the week and made our first menu with it. And tonight, today I'm going to do uh, one of those items. This is one of Bob's recipes, one of his recipes that he brought to the table. And this is one I believe might have been from a former restaurant that he worked at, um, possibly called Magic Pan or something like that. Um, so we're going to start out about a teaspoon and a half of, uh, of uh, olive oil. We're going to start out with some chicken, raw chicken, just some nice little pieces. Get them in there. Oh. All right, we want to get them started. And this one, like I said, this is a very tasty pasta dish. So quick. So you want to have all your stuff set up, ready to go instantly. Because like I said, it's a quick one. And all right, so the next thing in, um, the next thing in will be scallion. I got about two tablespoons worth of scallions. Boom. They're in. Next, followed by, I took three whole cloves of garlic and just sliced them up and boom, put all three, three cloves in. All right, so now we're building with that flavor. We got that flavor building up. Chicken's starting to brown off really good. Getting some nice color to it. All right, yeah, oh, oh man, this smells really good, folks. I wish you could smell it. All right, so the next thing what we're gonna do, I've got about three ounces of cream sherry, and that's the next item in. And so what's gonna happen is, you're gonna flame the, you're gonna do a flambe, so to speak. So it's gonna flame up, and that's what you want it to do. But there we go. You want that alcohol to get cooked off. You just want the flavor of the cream sherry in this. All right, so that's flaming off really well. And now what we're gonna do with that now, okay, the alcohol's pretty much burned off by now. So, which like I said, that goes very fast because it's only like three ounces of, of cream sherry. So now, what we're gonna do, turn the heat up a little bit. We're, at, we're I'm cooking at about a medium heat on this. So now we're gonna go up to a little bit higher, just a little bit above medium. And we're going to let this cream sherry reduce down before I add the next liquid. And the next liquid is, it's about the same amount, three ounces of uh, chicken stock. And once again, we're going to let that reduce down. So with these two reductions, this is giving this thing a lot of flavor, a lot of really good flavor. So right now, you can see my cream sherry is reducing down really good. And a towel, folks, I wish you could smell this. Um, this smells so good. It's almost starting, to, I can see the sugars are starting to come out in the sherry. Okay, so once those sugars are starting to come out and you see it's starting to get really kind of cloudy, like it, starting to get cloudy and bubbly, it's almost looking like caramel before a caramel kind of hardens up a little bit. All right, now we drop in the chicken stock. Chicken stock is it. So now we do the same thing with that. We're gonna let that reduce down before we add our next ingredients, which will be heavy cream and the wild rice. 
hence the name chicken linguine wild rice pasta. So this was a great dish at the Oli store, and I even did this dish when uh, we first moved to England in 2000. At, um, at the first restaurant I worked in, the Smokehouse over in West Row, I did this one a couple times for the English, and boy, they were they had never had anything like it. Number one, they had never seen wild rice cooked properly, and of course, today's wild rice is cooked by an Ojibwe, who this is our gift to the culinary world, wild rice. This is what we bring to the table. Wild rice, maple syrup. So another really good thing to do with wild rice, you see the little cup I got it in, a little uh, souffle type cup. You can take this, make go halfway with wild rice with it, fill it up, kind of pack it down a little bit, and then just pour some um, uh, maple syrup on top, and put that in the fridge, let that set up for about an hour or so, and then boom, there's an awesome natural little dessert for you. Maple syrup and wild rice. It's a great combination, folks. You ought to try it sometime. All right, here we go with the rice. That's in. All right, so we get that working. Oh, yeah, so the rice, that was about the amount there to the rice. That was actually one chicken breast that I did. So one chicken breast diced up, and the rice there was probably about a half a cup's worth of wild rice, and that's cooked wild rice. So wild rice, the other secret with it is before you cook it, the one thing you have to do with wild rice is soak it overnight in cold water, and that starts softening the hull, because the hulls are really rock hard, and you want to soften that up before you cook it. All right, so in goes the heavy cream now. So we're going to add about, ooh, Probably I'm using a one pint here, so I probably got about a good eight to nine ounces of heavy cream in here right now. So, all right, so that's gonna cool down for a moment. So I'm gonna bring that back up, turn the heat up a little bit. And you can do this at home if you wanna speed this up a little bit. You know, if you're looking for that race, 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 get the meal done. And right now, this is smelling fantastic, folks. I wish you could be here. All right, so the next thing, a little salt and pepper, a little black pepper, probably about four or five turns with the fresh stuff. And I'd do the same with the salt. You know, about four or five turns, there we go. We're good with salt and pepper. So then the next real ingredient will be the pasta. So I've got about eight ounces of uh, cooked linguine here. Ooh, yeah, folks, this is smelling really good and looking really good, too just how I remember it when we used to make these at, uh, at the Ole store. This was a very popular dish. We served a lot of this one. All right, so now, as you can see, I've got this up to a real rolling boil there, folks. Really rolling really long, really well. Now, boom, let's add our pasta. Boom, so that's it. Done. All right, so let's give it a little toss. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfection. Alright, so let's get a plate ready. Alright, so this is coming up really well. You know? And oh yeah. Almost finished. Almost to the thickness where we want the sauce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's looking really good. All right, let's turn that heat off. Get it off the heat now. She's ready. She's finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So it's probably been a good uh, 18 years since I've made this dish, probably. <laughs> done. A little Parmesan cheese, of course, on top. I got a little of the shaved Parmesan going on here, so that's what I had in my fridge. You can use that grated, whatever you got. And then, of course, a little fresh chopped parsley. And, boom, folks, there you have it. Chicken and wild rice pasta with linguine. 
Ole roll, Ole store style. Just like we used to make it up at the Ole store. Hope you enjoy this one, hope you can make it at home. And now let's give this baby a taste test, see how we did. Judging by the way it smells, I think we may have nailed this one. Oh, it's gonna be hot. That's looking really hot, folks. <laughs> Mmm. A little piece of the chicken and rice. Ah. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect, folks. Mmm. You would love this. Hope we can make this one. Peace out. Have a great weekend. Coming to you live. Chef Tony Irwin, Cape Canaveral, Cocoa Beach, Florida. Have a great weekend. See you soon.